again. Mark McElroy from Patriot Electronic Security Systems here. Welcome to How a Security System Works, Part 2. This is the second and final video in this series. If you have not viewed Part 1 yet, you might want to do that now as you will get more out of the video series if you get the information in its proper order. With that said, let's move on. In part one of the series, we discussed several devices that comprise a security system. Except for the control panel, all those devices had one thing in common. They were all intruder detection devices. What that means is they all involved the intruder protection aspect of the system. However, today's systems can protect you and your family from other dangers as well, most notably fire and carbon monoxide. At Patriot Electronic Security Systems, we take the threat of fire and carbon monoxide very, very seriously. Smoke and carbon monoxide detectors can be added to any security system we sell at such a reasonable cost that it is one of the most cost-effective measures of protection you can get for your family and yourself. Now, let's take a look at the components of a security system responsible for the protection of life. I'm sure most of you recognize this device. It's the common household smoke detector. Here in New York, they've been required in most every home since the early 80s, so they're certainly not a new technology. However, no one single device has been more successful at saving lives in the event of a fire as the smoke detector. There have been several different technologies that have been in use in smoke detection throughout the years. We're going to look at one of the more popular technologies in use today. This is what is called a photoelectric smoke detector. Inside, there's a small light source, usually an LED, emitting light and a photocell to catch that light. Now, here's the interesting part. Light travels in a straight line unless reflected or refracted by an object, right? Well, the light source and photocell are arranged inside this detector in such a way that under normal circumstances, the light does not reach the photocell. However, when smoke enters the detector, it reflects the light onto the photocell, and that triggers the alarm. The next device I'd like to show you is the carbon monoxide detector. Carbon monoxide is an invisible, tasteless, odorless gas. It can be killing you and you wouldn't even know it's there. Again, I cannot stress how important it is to have these devices properly installed in your home. They can save your life. Let's take a look at how they work. Just like smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors have several different methods of accomplishing their function. The electrochemical sensors in carbon monoxide detectors are probably the most widely used technology in the United States today. These detectors have sensors that produce an electric current that is directly related to the amount of carbon monoxide in the air. By monitoring the current generated by the sensors, you are in essence monitoring the amount of carbon monoxide in the environment. Once the current raises to a predetermined level, the alarm sounds. The last device I want to talk about is the communicator. This device allows your home security system to report an alarm or an event to a central station. Now this device leads us into a topic that is becoming a real problem in the alarm industry today. It is because of this issue that I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video about this device. Because it is such an important topic, we have decided to dedicate an entire video just on this subject alone. Look for that video on our YouTube channel and our website in the very near future. But for now, I can say that the alarm communicator is a device that can be built into your control panel itself or can be separately mounted in the vicinity of the control panel. There are several different types of communicators in use in today's system. There are the POTS line modem. This device uses your copper telephone line service for communication. 
Then there's the cellular communicator. This device utilizes cell phone technology for communications. Finally, there's internet communicators. This device uses your broadband internet connection to report to the central station. This concludes our video series on how a security system works. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope we answered some of the questions you had. If you like, please feel free to visit us at our website, www.patriotsecuritysystems.com for more information on who we are and what we do. And if you are looking for a burglar or fire alarm or closed circuit television system in our service area, that's listed below at the bottom of the screen, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.